In this video, I'm gonna share with you the secret to making your audio sound pro inside of Adobe Premiere. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have the microphone at least eight to 12 inches away from your face. I keep mine just up here outside of frame, so I'm staying within eight to 12 inches. I'm using a Rode video mic as well as an H1 Zoom external audio recorder. You don't need to use a Rode video mic. You can use like a lapel if you want, but I definitely recommend using some sort of external audio. You also don't need an external audio recorder. You can plug straight into the camera with like a lapel mic, and then just make sure that your gain settings are set to no more than six dB and no less than 18 dB. So here inside Premiere, we're just gonna be using three effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my video onto the timeline, and then I'll drop my external audio underneath. I'm gonna select all of that, right click, and then click on synchronize. Make sure that you have audio checked, and then press okay. And that's just gonna line everything up. Then I'm just gonna go here to the end and just cut off the area that we're not gonna be using. And now I'm just going to select that in-camera audio and then go ahead and delete it and bring my external audio up onto audio layer number one. Now I'm gonna go over here to these double arrows, go down to effects, and the first effect that we're going to add is going to be amplify. Under the audio effects tab here, click and drag that onto the audio. The next thing I'm gonna do is go over here to this little plus button, grab this loop playback button and drag it down to your toolbar and press okay, and then go ahead and select it. And we're gonna be using this to loop our audio back over and over and over again. Take the playhead, and then go to the very end of the footage and press O on the keyboard, and that should highlight this entire portion, which is what is going to get looped over and over again. Then select your audio again, go up here to the amplify effect and press edit. And what I wanna do is just show you what happens whenever our audio is too loud. We're gonna go ahead and increase the gain a little bit and then play it back. Continue to perfect your skills. And as you can see, these little red bars are highlighted up here, and that's actually a bad thing. That means that your audio is going to be too loud and distorted. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to zero, and I'll increase this ever so slightly, play it back one more time. That's still kind of clipping. I think this is probably good right back at zero. I pretty much got this where I need it to, right out of the microphone. So I'm not gonna worry about this, but if you recorded your stuff a little bit too low, gradually increase this till you're happy with the way that it sounds. The next effect that I'm going to add is going to be EQ, which is parametric equalizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and drag it onto the audio. And then for this, I'm gonna go ahead and select the option button. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here and select HP, which stands for high pass, and that's just going to eliminate some of the extra bass in your voice. And then I'm gonna go over here to the number four where it says DB and change this to three and I'll change the number five to three dB as well. And there's a whole lot more that goes into parametric equalizer. You can do so many different things. I could do an in-depth tutorial if you'd like to see that. You just let me know in a comment down below. For the high pass, I'm just gonna play this back. This video with it like a pro about subscribing. Hit the bell so you don't miss anything. And I'm gonna adjust that roll off to the spot between when it sounds natural and when it sounds unnatural. I want it to be right there in the middle. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and X this out. And the last effect we're going to add is going to be dynamics. And I'm gonna click and drag Dynamics onto that same audio layer. And I'm gonna go over here to Edit. And what Dynamics does is it compresses your audio to make it all sound the same. So what I'm gonna do is go up here and select the preset Soft Compression, Toggle Limiter. I'm gonna change this threshold to minus 3.2 and I wanna change the makeup to 2 dB. And you can kind of play around with the makeup, but I definitely wouldn't go any higher than 10 dB. And then I'm gonna go ahead and play this back. I'll see you in the Continue to perfect your skills. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. And my audio is sitting right where I would like it to be. I don't want it to go any higher than 6 dB, and I don't want it to go any lower than 18 dB. Now I'm gonna play it back with all the audio effects we just put on turned off. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. And then I'll go ahead and turn them back on so you can hear the difference. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. And that sounds much better in my opinion. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.